Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are recording the statue fight which we are having against our enemies. Like We have won almost every single statue fight simply because we just showed up. But our enemy is still here and let's see how much points we are going to get how much merits we are going to get simply because a merits is the statistics which shows you how well you fight or in general how active you are inside the game now, of course i'm always focusing on the yellow merits whenever there is a report on my side i prefer to have yellow numbers there but yeah like depends on which kind of enemies you have like if you are fighting against tier 5 players that always really hard in general because they have a lot of armor they have a lot of survivability and they deal a lot of damage so far we are in ahead like 52k um, points in uh, like in our alliance but uh, for the personal points i think uh, i can do much better and let's see how these fights will go on um i have i got kind of lucky because i have um, golden like legendary attack mana stone uh, generally i prefer to have hp one because i think hp mana stones are the best mana stones which you can have uh, in this game especially if you are a free-to-play player simply because like as i have mentioned before in many different videos uh surviving the battles is the way of making a lot of merits right uh simply because doesn't really matter how much damage you have how many wounded troops you will give to your uh, enemy it's not roots of war it's a call of dragon statue gameplay so it really matters if you will survive longer and that's the way of making merits in this game uh, i have mentioned before even if you are a free-to-play player you will have absolutely a lot of fun playing call of dragons the most important advice i would give for every single free-to-play player to choose the alliance where you are going to play with right it's not only always about having the strongest alliance or having the like a lot of tier 5 players in your alliance it's about community it's about people whom you will be playing with right like as i have mentioned before call of dragons is not a single player game it's a mass pvp game which means that you will need your allies you will need your alliance members to be fighting with you right without that you will just simply get destroyed you will have always a lot of um, hospital troops like at least 1 million depending on the battlefield right that's why if you will have a good alliance with the people who are active with the people who are speaking in the alliance chat trust me there will be a lot of fun for you because like best time i have ever had in this game was like playing with my alliance members staying in a discord call listening to them and making some fun uh, in alliance chat and of course like in this game give us a lot of opportunities to play with your alliance members and one of these opportunities is tattoo war of course i would prefer that enemy would have come even more like in terms of numbers but it is what it is right at least they are showing up and at least we will have some kind of fights because if enemy is not good and if enemy is not showing up like doesn't really matter how active you are in general you will you need to have your enemies in order for you to get some merits in this game right so that's like normal thing and of course our um, enemies right now like ma and lm they are not mainly tier 5 alliance like they are mainly tier 4 and in terms of purely about power we have a way more power than them which needs to give them like a lot of respect that they are still showing up and they are still fighting for the points in general about the statue i think statues rules got changed before because <clears throat> simply because uh, in the past you have to have fought inside the circle without that you would not get any points but right now i think like even if you're alive even if your legion is inside the circle and you are defeating legions who are outside of the circle you are still getting some points right finally my first legion went to home let's check how many merits we got yeah like yellow merits 40k uh, whenever you're gonna have yellow merits you should be always happy about it simply because it means that you did absolutely amazing uh, with your legion now i will try to 
to bring my second uh, most popular in my opinion uh, hero pair which is Craig and Thea with the Wyverns uh, it was it has been like a revolution for me because I never expected that my Craig and Thea would be uh, like married farmer in kind of way because I thought like Craig is epic hero Thea is overall one and I'm not sure how many merits I'm going to get with this hero pair but trust me sometimes I'm getting even more uh, rather than with my awakened Kinara and Nico with Rattle Spear. Uh, I have like uh, awakened the Craig, like simple free to play uh, Thea with Shadow Blades, and I am doing absolutely amazing amount of damage to enemies. Right now, I will try to showcase what I have been saying in this couple of minutes, and I hope my Craig and Thea won't gonna disappoint me because I have been giving them a lot of praise in this season right like um, if you have watched the live streams if you have watched the videos about the gameplay especially like combat gameplay of call of dragons then i think you would believe me that uh, like this hero pair has been amazing this guy had tried to sneak inside the um, uh, statue maybe he thought that we would not manage to see them but um, well whenever you're gonna zoom out it's it's really really easy to understand who is standing where and what you are actually clicking that's why i always suggest to play in a zoomed out scenario simply because you understand what you are hitting you understand where is your enemy hiding and how you will get attacked right in general i think positioning during the fights during the wars during the statue wars is really really important and as you have seen in my fights whenever i'm getting targeted i'm always moving back because as a free to play player i'm not giving a lot of counter attack damage to enemies and uh, my legion will just simply die so fast that it's not really worth it for me to tank anything in this game right maybe in the future whenever i have a tier 5 units and whenever i have way more uh, way better legendary heroes in terms of skill level maybe at that time i will be able to tank some more but for now my main playstyle is just like hit and miss like whenever i see that i'm getting targeted i will go back whenever i see that nobody's targeting me i will try to move forward like for example i expect there to be strong couple of um artifacts that's why i moved back now whenever i see that my alliance members are moving in i will try to deal some damage that's why i have said it before your alliance is really really important especially active one especially with the people who you are actually chatting in the chat because trust me I, I have I, I I was not the chatter before in Call of Dragons like seasons have been passed and I have like said a zero word but whenever I started to communicate with my alliance members I'm having a ten times more fun because yeah like I have heard that the this kind of games is all about having a good community it's all about having a friends inside the game um, I was not believing it from my side at first because I did not really like to chat a lot but since I started doing that I am having a lot more fun because I get to know my alliance members, I know what kind of people they are, I know what kind of jokes they have and in general I think from now on from this season uh, that communities in this game is the best thing you can have uh, simply because you're actually playing with your friends right like it this game is not like short term gameplay you are actually playing for years like for example i have been playing this game for more than 400 days soon it will be 500 and uh, it's a time you will make some friends you will make some also enemies so uh, if you want to have like full experience of Call of Dragons, you not only have to be active inside the game, but if you will be looking at your alliance chat and you will make some friends, it will be much, much better. Right now, I think with Craig and Thea, I am doing absolutely fine because I have not got targeted or now let's not let's not make any mistakes and let's not try to get targeted simply because I do I want to show you guys what kind of hero pair Craig and Thea is and how much damage you can actually do if you are playing with it properly right uh, Wyverns have been the revolution for me as you guys know I have been playing with Spring Wardens and it's been like uh, two seasons whenever I change to uh, Wilderberg and I think if you are Archer player you would like to play with Wilderberg because 
uh, having a lot of archer units and like fighting with like at least three or four legions and attacking a single target with four archers that's absolutely amazing i have been getting way more merits than before so like i think i made the correct choice like uh, i have been marksman main even before um, long range warfare and i'm pretty sad that from the next season we won't gonna have any more long range warfare but i think it's all about meta right sometimes at first whenever call of dragons launched it was all about mage players it's it was a mage meta let's be honest because everybody was playing with mages then when goresh and skolgul came out it became like infantry meta simply because this goresh and skolgul hero pair has been the simply one of the best hero pairs since their launch and after that when long range warfare was introduced i have been saying like even from the preview of the, the update that guys don't care about minus attack if archers are going to have same amount of range as mages they will be just rocking them right and that's what actually really happened um, like as a marksman player playing with marksmen without long range warfare in the past I have been asking only two things to have same range as a mage players and to have a more march speed right at first I got my wish in terms of same range but unfortunately developers of the game are removing the same range for marksmen but at least we are getting more march speed because can you imagine having like less uh, range as a mages and even you are like slowest march in the game you can't really maneuver around the map around the battlefield you can't really choose the place where you will be holding and fighting and mainly before the long range warfare uh, a mark marksmen were used only for the defense right if enemy was attacking you and you should not really move whenever att enemy is attacking you that's when a marksman was actually good uh, but yeah let's see i'm pretty interested what's gonna happen with the marksman whenever the long range warfare will be gone um, i'm really interested in that and maybe uh, this like small buff for the march speed maybe it will be crucial maybe not but until we won't gonna be into the new season it will be hard for me to judge what's what actually happened with the marksman right of course i would prefer marksman to has like same amount of range as mages like in in every single season i think that's the wish of every single archer player player but for now i think changing metas in the game is normal thing because every single legion type should give get some love because every single legion type has the players who are maining them right and if you ask me the one legion type which needs more love in terms of like buffs and in terms of like new things it's about cavalry players right we already had the mage meta we already had the infantry meta and right now this season has been like all about marksmen and i think it's really turned to be the cavalry meta i think like it will be horrible uh, for free to play players if uh, uh, cavalry meta will be super good because whenever cavalry player is catching you and you are alone and it's not like war situation you are getting destroyed because they have too much damage but they have one big minus they are pretty useless in terms of big wars and in terms of big fights that's the general idea about uh, calves and that's why i always think that they need more love because um you should be using your cavalries in turn in like in some cases whenever there is a big war right i understand some alliances are using calves for like having 10 calves legion and rushing to the back line but that's not how it happens in the war gameplay whenever it's live war right yeah Finally, as I have said it before, 90k merits, my Craig and Thea, my, my Thea is not even a awakened one and only Craig is awakened and I have I have been dealing this cam this amount of merits all the time whenever I have been playing with my Craig and Thea. That's why I have said it before, it's been a revolution for me how good uh, Craig and Thea have been. I guess uh, simply and easily it happened because 
just like Thea is too good not to use her, right? Like in every single Legion type, in every single hero, you can pair uh, Thea to anything, and the hero which you are pairing with Thea becomes just super good, right? Whenever I made a guide about Craig and Thea, I have said it before, in, I have said it on that video, that uh, it's like making Craig like a legendary hero because Thea is giving so many buffs and so many important buffs for Craig that sometimes I feel like that my Craig is actually my legendary hero. That's how good Thea is. And actually, uh, as a marksman player, I have even been uh, thinking about um, uh, trying to awaken Thea because, like, in general, I think you should be awakening the legendary hero as a free-to-play player whom you are, you are going to play with many different heroes, right? Because you want to use that legendary hero as much as possible. It's not a, a surprise if I will say that for a free to play player it's really really hard to awaken a special legendary hero because it just needs just too much legendary tokens and as a free to play player you are not getting that much uh, legendary tokens and the only ways you can get them is just like events and roots of war, right? Finally, now it's turn to fight with my mage, my Wolder and Welling. And as I like, of course, my Wolder is awakened. My Welling is like simple free to play player Welling, like 5113. Nothing really important. And let's see how we are going to perform with uh, my mages. And I think, in terms of like uh, Craig and Thea and Nico and Kinara, we did absolutely fine. Uh, we got both of them like yellow merits. And generally, that's the way I'm playing. My main goal is always to get at least one or two uh, yellow merits whenever I'm fighting with um, enemy alliances, right? Whenever you are having a mage um, uh, in the battlefield, don't hesitate to click on the uh, infantry players because you are dealing skill damage and infantry players are getting a lot of skill damage because they don't have like a lot of magic resistance. They are mainly tanky for archers, right? Because they have highest amount of physical defense. Uh, in this case, yeah, I will simply just try to focus this infantry and as always I will try my best to uh, get the yellow merits which I have been trying all the time and so far I think I have been successful right um, in general like I think uh, you guys are getting surprised sometimes how much merits I'm getting in some some kind of fights even against like tier 5 players that's why I'm making these kind of videos because I want to showcase that even as a free to play player there is a big chance that you will have a high amount of merits if, if simply you understand how fights mechanics work in this game right if you will be playing like this like zoomed in it will be hard for you to understand what you are clicking it will be hard for you to position yourself in a better way and as you can see whenever i get i'm getting targeted i'm just moving back i'm choosing to remove the target and then i'm just going in to try to deal some more damage of course, in terms of pure numbers, we have way more, uh, simply because enemy is just not showing up like we are right now, because they understand that uh, almost every single statue war we have been winning, and if they want to get some more points, they have to bring more and more members. And I think it's already like July, it's summer, like a lot of players are having vacations, uh, a lot of players are waiting for the season ending rewards, and in general season ending, that's why in general in our kvk like activity level kind of dropped and i think that's the uh, two main reasons why activity have been dropping and that's pretty normal right like real life is way more important than games well sometimes defense on the occasion uh, games can be more important than real life right like it's a gamer thing and which i have been since the childhood right um, right now I'll, I'm trying my best to charge my Phoenix Eye because I think with my Walder and Railing hero pair my main source of damage is always from the Phoenix Eye uh, which is dealing damage to four nearby legions and I think uh, these kind of artifacts which are dealing damage to couple of legions around the nearby legions is the best one uh, whenever you have a big fight. A big fight I mean at least like four, five or like ten uh, enemy legions around you right so far i'm not getting targeted but there is one big but uh, simply because uh, it's pretty hard for me to 
charge my phoenix eye and to use it in a proper way so it will be on a cooldown and i will be able to use it a couple of times in this fight right i guess enemy already understood that it would be really really hard for them to do anything here uh, that's why they are bringing less and less people yeah i think i used my phoenix eye on one uh, single legion but at least i have done it uh, because um, it's been pretty rough for me to actually uh, charge the phoenix eye right the main part about Walder's kit which i like it a lot whenever you're gonna awaken Walder, you will be able to deal damage to a couple of legions right and in general uh, i think in this game we have like two styles of uh, mage legions uh, like anything with Walder and anything with lilia is more aoe style like dealing damage to multiple targets and the newest hero pair which is bertrand and dohar or like bertrand and thea you are more of a single target damage dealer right because they don't have anything in their play kit which says dealing damage to multiple target uh, in terms of artifacts for mage players like i think best one for a free to play friendly artifacts is phoenix eye uh, simply because you can get the phoenix eye from the normal keys and you can actually uh, make it like more levels if you will get lucky and you will get phoenix eye a couple of times if not well, uh, my resorb, of course, like one of the highest amount of damage you can deal is the my resorb, and the, like I have getting damaged uh, with that artifact a couple of times, and I have I have been wondering what should I do to deal that kind of damage to enemies, simply because like 100k, like 59k is just too much, right? I think I will just go back right now because uh, enemy just killed a couple of our frontline legions and um, I think it will be way wiser for me to stay with my alliance members simply because I will have like protection from at least one infantry player who are tanking all the DPS right now, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, this guy have been tanking and my legion is at least half health which means if i will be using my phoenix eye i think that should be the highest amount of damage i can do to these people right unfortunately i got targeted right now let's just move back let's just remove those targets and then continue to do uh, this stuff which we have been doing uh, right now i want to mm, uh, use my phoenix eye in this small choke point because mm, like that a couple of legions like nearby legions which, which are standing there and actually enemy have been trying to focus on our backline and they are not focusing on on this infantry right let's see if i will be able to use my phoenix eye couple of seconds more and i think my phoenix eye usage is pretty good because i managed to deal damage to all four legions and i think like at least one phoenix eye use i got like at least 1000 merits uh, with the one artifact that's why i have been saying artifact is one of the highest source of merit in this game and if you are getting lucky and you are getting a lot of offensive artifacts you are super good because you will be getting merits in almost every single fight whenever this Walder and Relin will be going home I think that will be it in terms of video because um, 33 minutes is more in terms of statue fight and I, I think it will be pretty boring for me to record how we are just rolling over the enemies and we are like there is not much of a fight right like we are trying to get as much merits as possible we are trying to get as much points as possible in terms of personal points i think 7k is uh, not bad and there is still a lot of time for me to get more and of course i will try to get more because these uh, statue war and statue fights are having amazing amount of rewards especially like um, army recruitment thing which whenever you can get this item you will be able to use it and maybe you will be able to recruit like 5k um, archers at the same time which is pretty amazing especially whenever you are recruiting like tier 5 units right i hope it will come soon for me to have tier 5 units i'm not sure how soon it will be but I will try my best, right? Because it will be so funny being 100% free to play player and having tier 5 units. Uh, that's the way it will be. I think it's at some point I will be getting those, and uh, I think we will see way more merit score than before in terms of uh, unit type. Whenever you are having a tier 5, it's just like 10 times better, right? 
Finally, my world well and wedding is done, and that's the amount of merits we got. Uh, it's pretty awkward, I know my legendary uh, awakened hero Kinara and Nigo got like lowest amount of merits, but as I have said it before, um, surviving in the battles is the most important thing which you can do. If you are dying quick, you will have low merits, if you are surviving longer and longer, you will have more and more merits. Even if you are just like clicking once in a 10 seconds and you are surviving for a long time i think that's the way you can go if you want to make some merits in this game in terms of hospital of course my hospital was not even looking before um i think i got like 100k uh, severely wounded out of these three legion fights and yeah like tell me guys what do you think about my gameplay what do you think about how i fight in this game and as always if you guys like the content press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this amazing game i hope everybody will have amazing morning night or day wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck